Hello everyone and welcome to my episode of Mixed Mowers and today's episode we're going to take a little look at a wolf lawnmower that I got in as part of a pipe exchange on the mount field with the metal roller with this four speed box. Uh, that sold just the other day and he gave me two lawnmowers in exchange um, plus um, some money on top for selling the mower. So without further ado let's get down dirty let's check out this little wolf lawnmower. And there it is. Nice little lawnmower actually. Um, doesn't look that old. I don't think it's done a great deal of work. Um, and all he's saying is, is that it, it just won't start full stop. I've got the air filter for it and I've got the air filter cover for it. That was all complete. Um, so I thought whilst I'm here, I'll just have a cheeky little fix on this one. Um, I'm hoping it's gonna be a carburetor. I have sprayed some fuel down the head and uh, it, it fires straight up but then dies straight away afterwards. So guessing carburetor so I'm gonna have a little look at that see if I can't get the carburetor to uh, come off give it a clean and try and get this one turned around quite quick um, because uh, mowers are becoming a bit sparse in my area um, I'm struggling to find them um, for the right sort of money and the right quantity because of the old virus um, people are just literally are not and not uh, not buying them or selling them or whatever. So I thought I'd uh, have a little go at this one. So what we can't do. It's gonna be the easiest out of the two. The other one I've got is, little, is a little tiny Quocast mower. So I thought I'd um, have a go at that. Um, everyone's indoors watching movies and what have you. I can't be sitting indoors all day long. Um, I thought I'd come out another a little play on this one. That could be quite a quick, easy fix. I'm guessing that both of these lawnmowers he gave me are ones that have just been sat up all year. I've got a little Quocast lawnmower he's given me as well, the Briggs and Strat, but I think the, the, the drive's gone on it. So I might change it into a push, although I do have a brand spanking new axle um, in my cupboard. Oh. And um, if that fits, I might try and fit that to it as well. But this one here, Shouldn't be a bad little mower. So we've got a little primer bulb. Oh, yeah, I don't, I don't think this has ever been taken apart since day one. There's the air breather. This carburetor is absolutely filthy. And it's no wonder it wasn't priming if it's the state of this carboy, it's in there. It's got a little wolf engine on top, which I quite like. Oh, I don't want to damage that. No spares for them. Uh, let's try and plug that fuel off. That pipe looks pretty solid. Oh, it might go. <coughs> let's get a set of forceps on it. Not a big set, he thinks. forceps over a touch more. Let's sort of lock them into place better. That's better. And we've got a little tiny, little tiny um, clip there to remove as well. So I don't think this has been off since day one. just gone back so we're getting a bit more a bit more time to work on these machines now which is good just removing the governor spring and then the throttle arm and that will give us a carburetor in all its glory as you can see, lots of stuff coming out of there already. So I'll take the lawnmower off the bench. I've got loads on top of the bench at the moment and uh, I'll clean it on here and then uh, we'll get on with it. Rightio, let's get this uh, carburetor taken apart. 
see what we're looking at. Oh, lots of yummy stuff in here. <laughs> Let's take to that fuel. <laughs> lots of smeg in there. But to be fair, the carburetor is not actually in too bad a condition. Lots of stale fuel in there. I think that's the issue. Yeah, it's not too bad. Let's get the uh, let's get the main jet out. That's what that's doing. Lovely when they come out. I don't always though. So I'd like to get this one up and running before tonight. Then it's down to half a chance of being sold tomorrow. And yeah, that hole is completely, oh, yeah, completely plugged. No light through that at all. So that's the reason why. That I need blown out and cleaning as well. I'm going to also take out the uh, slow running jet too and we fred off the back of that, about one and a half threads off the back of that. Take that out. Take that out as well. Nice and gently. Cool. Get some WD-40 in. I've got some carb spray ordered. <clears throat> Just wait for that to turn up. Set of files. And we're going to clean the uh, the main jet first. So as you can see through there, absolutely no daylight at all through that. So that's the first one to be cleaned. Let's run that through it. Too big. Uh, that one there, I think. That's the one. Oh, that's bunged. That's severely blocked up. Ain't no more. Now, some people I've been getting some comments about carburetor cleaning and what this that and the other, and lots of lots of people showing the same old stuff. But you know, this is what I do. This is what I get in. So you know, you ain't got to watch it if you don't like it. But this is what I do, and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it. If you don't, it's fine. You ain't gotta. Every lawnmower is different. We're all near enough the same to fix them. But uh, some people watch because of the, the content I have. That's running lovely now. Let's run a straw through this one. Just to loosen some stuff up and then I'm going to run a little needle through each of these holes. Could be quite a quick fix. So I sold the lawnmower for good money, strong money too, real strong money. It was a commercial four-speed box mount field um, with a metal roller, and it sold for really good money. And originally, that engine was seized or, or been stood up. Got it running, sold. My bloke gave me two of his old lawnmowers, which he had in his garage doing nothing running beautiful. Let's run some stuff into here. Lovely. Into here. Into here. This carburetor is running absolutely fantastic. Exactly as it should. Bit of an air compress. Just to blow out anything that shouldn't be in there. that done 
That didn't take long. General wash, general wipe off. And then I'll rebuild it. Let me get a bit of a rag in. Nice fluffy sheep. That's basically the kind of rags I like. Nice woolly ones. Woolly ones with sheep. Oh, someone's found a little raw mail or dirt bike around the back of this shed here. Oh, this carburetor should run. Hopefully. That runs lovely through there, and it does through there. Yeah. Cool. Uh, tube back in. Main jet through in, and now you should better see some nice daylight through there. Uh, try and get so you can see. It's daylight through. I can see it. Nice big, nice big gap in there now, and that's the only the only problem with this stale fuel. Do that up, well seated. Slow running jet goes back in. That's one thing I didn't compress and spray off. Yep. in well see that and you want that one and a half threads hanging out of there you can always adjust this later on if need be but it's going to be about about there um, we want the bowl that's a bit of a clean might get my little wire brush in there in a minute see how it comes up yeah wire brush nylon one instead let's get rid of all the smeg in there best we can Float looks good, needle looks good. No problems there. That can all go back in. As it should. Oh, someone's texting. I want the pin. Wherever that went, there it is. Blow test. Who was texting my phone? working that goes on fuel in that side so I want the little tiny bolt hanging out the front so we can get to it later don't do these up too tight because you'll strip them out my tummy's rumbling just having my dinner this has pee done some nice uh, nice big hamburgers homemade hamburgers with onion rings chips and onions very nice that'll do Right, carburetor done, let's get the mower back on top and then uh, we'll uh, reassemble it. Right, let's uh, quick inspect of this fuel, see what colour that is. See what we're looking at. Oh, it ain't too shabby, we'll go with that. I think he's put brand new fuel in, is what I think. Let me stop. Nope. It. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's a yellowish in colour, but I've seen a, I've done a darn sight worse. So we'll go for that now. I might put some fresh in on top of it. Alright, uh, around. Little governor spring can go on in a minute. 
Hook that up. Hook all that up. Governor arm to go on first. And then a little spring to follow. That one goes on. We're going to fit the fuel lead on. Unplug that. And put the fuel clip on all the way up. That there. That's all in place. A little tiny gasket to go on there. Just checking to make sure it's priming. Which it is. Happy with that. Air intake to go on. Goes that way around on this one. That goes up. A little tiny silly clip on, which has gone too far. That one goes on to there. I'm not racing, this is just, you know, this is how I like most sometimes to come in. Get them in, get them done, get them, get them up, get them sold, get them out. In that order. So now, what I can do, I can now prime this. Yeah. And I'm getting fuel coming out. Saying that, I'm getting fuel coming out the bottom of the bowl. Yeah. That's not... That's not right. So it's not quite right there. I'm getting fuel coming out the bottom of the bowl rather than actually out the uh, the throat. So something wrong with that low ring somewhere. Come on, baby, hold up. spot it now and later on comes back off with a sight not quite right that bowl. There's my little tiny um, snippers go. I had. Goes. Take that off. I don't want to force this because um, if we force it, then uh, I can shear the. Um, it wasn't it wasn't up extra extra all tight to be fair. Just want to spec this O-ring. See what's going on with it. Looks well seated, it's not it's not buckled. Just don't think it was sat right down very well. It looks okay. Maybe I didn't do it up tight enough. I'm always a bit worried about stripping the old, stripping the old threads out. That's a problem. All right, let's try that this time. Up a bit tighter than what it was last time. Priming and not leaking, which is what I wanted. This wasn't quite dark tight enough. So you can never be too careful because you tighten you drop too tight, you'll strip them threads out. Strip the threads out of that carburetor. That's that carburetor done. Get a bit of petrol up. Don't want to blemish the deck. This deck is in really good condition too. A few paint scrapes, but do you know what be nice? Nice little clean up. This is gonna sell for good money. Tiny fuel cap, I feel clip on there. 
put that one in. As I say, this is what it's all about, especially this time of year. Get the machines in, get them serviced, get them running, get them out. So, at the very least, I just want to get this machine running tonight. I can service it tomorrow. It's already had a new spark plug already. I can see that the spark plug is now and brand new. I'm going to be doing a little review on a Halford's toolkit. Um, I treat myself, some of you may have saw the other week, to a professional 200 piece toolkit. I'm going to do a little review on that coming up. Lots of people have done reviews, but uh, I picked up. I'm super impressed with it. I love the new toolkit, as you can see. All guaranteed for life as well, which is good. Which, which actually reminds me, I need to go down and see them because they're supposed to send me an email and they didn't. I must do that tomorrow at some point. I might even just bring them up actually. I didn't receive the email for my receipt to get my guarantee for life. All right, that's all on. Happy with that. Garden run all works. Um, I'll put the air filter on, all that sort of good stuff. I'll meet you outside and uh, we'll go for a fire up. Right, and there it is, all done. Let me get the air filter. Right, just putting the air filter on. Yeah, that way. Get a couple of pumps. Get enough priming. Let's see what happens. Nice sort of mower that too. Um, all runs. I've got to do a full service on it, um, but all in all, I'm uh, super impressed with it. Really clean mower too. Well happy. And that's how we do it in the old mixed mower shack. Get them in, get them done, get them out. Um, got to be fully serviced. It's already got a brand new spark plug in it that I know. Um, air filter is quite good. I'll get a bit of a clean out. All change be done. Blades be sharp and balanced. General tidy up and out it a go. So super, super happy. If this is your first time watching Mixed Mowers, hit the old subscribe button, whack the old bell, set your notifications to all. That way you'll be told I'll be released on a video or two on my Saturday night um, live stream between 6 and 10. Any comments you've got, leave them down below. Give us a thumbs up where you can. And I'll see all you guys and girls next time on the next episode of Mixed Mowers very, very soon. But until then, people, don't forget, more importantly, take it easy.